turned to his pyromancer. Burn them all, he said. Burn them in their homes, burn them in their beds. So I didn't actually properly go over it yesterday, I didn't have the time. But when I commented on the Great Book of Grudges video that was encompassing what CA had stated, because they were doing this hiding thing, like they all just went quiet, and so the player base started to get annoyed, so they had to say something, and they were deliberately not commenting on really crucial topics like the f frivolous or even fraudulent DMCA strike against me, or any of the leaks, or about Rob being fired. So they decided to finally rear their heads, and it was just generic dry shit. So I acknowledge that as such by saying they are still doing pure 100% damage control. Everything they say is disrespectful, disingenuous bullshit and should be acknowledged as such and promptly ridiculed. This is a two-faced company that pisses on you until it's raining. Nothing they say should be interpreted as actual human speech. It is Rob speak, soulless and corporate. If they ever hire an actual human that isn't a sociopath that can be honest even one bit so I don't vomit into my mouth a bit every time I read anything they say, someone let me know. As I was writing that, I was getting messages from people complaining that they're banning indiscriminately on the Steam forums. There are comments describing it all over my latest video. Burn them all! And then I went on to actually make a video on the topic of the banning, because they just took a flamethrower to the entire Steam forums. People that bought the game and that were commenting, sometimes commenting innocently, sometimes making efforted jokes, sometimes being critical, obviously, sometimes being angry, of course, and they were just banning them, sometimes within seconds. Burn them all! This is a comment I got earlier on my video, earlier today, by a few hours. I actually can't even view posts on their Steam forums. When I click on them, they don't load because they're deleted by the time I click on them. Yeah, exactly. I'll have stuff open in a tab and then I'll refresh it or I'll click to the next page and then it'll just put me back to the main menu of the Steam forum because the thread is now a broken link because the thing it actually directs to is gone, they deleted it. So, Robocop aimbot in this bitch. The flame throwing of the forums started yesterday, probably around midday or in the afternoon and then it continued all throughout yesterday evening and night and it continued for all of this morning and this afternoon and then it stopped a few hours ago. They just, they banned, I don't even know how many people they banned, it has to be hundreds or thousands even. Yeah, it continued up until today, more than a whole day I think, of banning. Went on the Steam forum to say that censorship of criticism is a bad idea, banned within 60 seconds of posting. <laughs> what are they doing? You see? What are they doing? <laughs> I believe this person. Because the stuff I've seen is ridiculous. Here's another example. Just wanted to let you know, CA went crazy on the Steam discussions of Fair Whirler today. They made a locked top discussion where they basically threatened to take action against anyone that discussed topics like wanting other Total War games, potential downward spiral of CA, anything that can negatively impact game enjoyment. Looks like someone with admin powers went on a rage comment, a rampage I think he means, and is now scanning the discussions for mass bans. Marketing campaign for a new, to new game, Total War Banhammer. And then we have this. So the banning had happened for the whole of yesterday and it was just silent flamethrowing of everything without explanation. It was up to us to figure out what the hell was going on, but it was quite clear. Everyone was just screaming about being banned, so it was quite obvious they were just going absolutely nuclear. But the first time they tried to actually explain what happened was here. So this was 11 hours ago. So we had all of the banning for most of yesterday. And then this morning they woke up and realised people picked up on it and were making videos on it. It was a shit show. it was not working, that tact was absolutely atrocious. Needless to say, spending a whole day just silently napalming your entire fan base doesn't have good results. So they panicked this morning, especially after they seen people like me making videos, trying to cover this whole mess, as I called it having a complete meltdown. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the fuck you would call this if not that. So they whipped together early this morning, 9.40am my time and their time, a big statement justifying what they did. Steam moderation guidelines and maintaining healthy discussion. Hello everyone, I need to take a moment to clarify some of the recent and ongoing actions being taken here on the Steam discussion boards. Steam has long been a space where we've allowed people to create the space. Well, my how the turntables have turned. They wanted to talk and discuss the game. Unfortunately, over time, discussions have grown increasingly off topic. 
Are you less about the game itself, more focused on other games, or the call for new games? <laughs> so, unconstructive, critical without offering solutions. Oh my god, piss right off. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh my god, this is the most whiny bullshit you could say. This is the sort of shit you would expect to scrape off the floor of the shithole sub. My god. You're not allowed to say something is wrong unless you have a solution that can fix it. It's your job, you're the developers, holy shit. This is atrocious. Who wrote this shit? What the fuck? We're solely aimed at creating arguments. Focused on attacking or calling out specific individuals. CA staff, influencers, or member of the community. Alright, well, I've got very distinct memories of being lied about maliciously by weirdos on here. The same people, probably, that inhabit and dwell and rot in the shithole sub and these libels and malicious lies in general just remain there for hours, days, weeks on end. Probably still there if you do a search you could probably find disgusting lies that have been deliberately manufactured to be put on here to libel me and they don't, I don't think they have a big problem with it. I wonder why that is. Why can't they enforce rules properly? You would have to be a naive idiot though to think that they actually give a shit about rules and enforcing them. Don't have obvious double standards or members of the community rooted in sp speculation rather than focusing on your experiences with the game or otherwise violating the clear standards of discussion outlined by the Steam posting guidelines. Criticism is and will always be welcome, bullshit, and we take an active role in helping to ensure that your voices and experiences are shared with our department teams at Creep Assembly to help inform where we come in the However, focus entirely on the criticism without offering constructive solutions. Fuck off. Thoughtful commentary or including others in the conversation doesn't service the role of these forums. <sighs> Likewise, masquerading abuse by hiding it within otherwise valid commentary about the game does not make the post valid. What is this garbage? In these instances, you'll see moderators from the CA team or Steam stepping in and taking action to help provide a constructive space for the majority of the audience. The people who are here with good intentions by removing those who instead come here to be disruptive. It seems to me like the purpose of these forums right now, if it's anything whatsoever, is a venting space, a venting place for unhappy customers so they can let off steam instead of just refunding the game or just forgetting about you completely. To help you all understand more about how we moderate in addition to the general steam guidelines, there are several total war specific actions which will lead to moderation. Clear attempts to derail constructive conversation. If you disagree with someone, come to the conversation with a position. Blah, 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 blah. But here's the part of the matters. If you're here to be disruptive and behave inappropriately to others, you will no longer be welcome in this community. This is them giving themselves a pass to just ban anyone that's unpleasant. And of course, people that are unhappy are generally unpleasant, and people do have good reasons to be unhappy. I myself am unhappy because I've still not had an apology for the fucking DMCA against me. Responses aimed to undermine another player's enjoyment of the game. Fuck off. What the hell is this? See the people that are enjoying the game, they're actually playing it. What is this garbage? If people are sitting on forums, they're not interested in enjoying a game. Holy fuck. You may dislike the game. You may post about problems with the game, you may even criticise the game constructively. So you're not allowed to criticise it unless it's constructive. You may not criticise others for liking the game. Doomsaying? <laughs> Holy shit, they've actually adopted this bullshit fucking internet word. They like their doom, don't they? Doom stacks, doom saying. My god, these zoomer words. Isn't this meant to be a CA employee for managing the community and he's... fuck off. Calls for boycotts or spreading misinformation. There it is again. Spreading misinformation. Our official channels are focused on building a better f future for the community. Doom saying calling for boycotts or starting arguments based on misinformation contributes nothing to our community. <laughs> and will result in our moderation team stepping in to remove the content or individuals from the forum. Calls for new Total War titles off topic posting. This forum is to discuss Warhammer 3. Comparisons to other games can be made as long as they're related to your commentary about Warhammer 3. If you're keen to share more general thoughts, uh, blah, blah, blah. and they've made another community, they've moved over mostly. Again, being angry or cr being critical in your post is perfectly fine, but there's a need for it to be done in a way that's respectful of other users in the forum, and which shows you want to be a part of the gaming community as opposed to being an antagonist of it. Wow. The right to discuss is a privilege. Here it is. Here are the words. The seven words. The right to discuss is a privilege. <laughs> and it's also just a poor an ill-formed construct so the whole point about rights is that you have them no matter what they are not able to be withdrawn if they are withdrawn guess what they become 
a privilege they were just a privilege all along so the right is a privilege oh my god there's something seriously wrong about this and people have picked up on it of course the first comment picks up on this the right to discuss is a privilege man and then this here it is not an entitlement you earn by playing the game remember all of those quotes i've got from xca talking about how they don't respect their customers i'll repost those at the end and i'll also append on some new things that i haven't shared before all right let's continue it's not an entitlement you earn by playing the game <laughs> so the fact that you paid for their product and are interested in it enough to talk about it on forums is not enough isn't this just suicidal we don't care enough about the fact that you paid for our product, the whole point of our existence, what we're here for, what they care so much about, buying their games. We don't care enough about the fact that you did that to grant you a place to speak. You're not even allowed to criticise the game. You've bought the game, alright, and you're criticising it, but because you haven't offered a solution with your criticism, we are going to withdraw your ability to continue to speak here. Isn't that absolutely dis disgusting that they could even say this? Remember, at 10am, they got together, drafted this, looked over it together in their offices and thought, yeah, this looks good, fire this away. This is absolute garbage. What the fuck is wrong with them? This reflects the sentiments that they have in their studio. This is how they actually think. These thoughts went into their head. They, they wrote them out. And then they published them together as a collective, a community team. This was put in front of a team of people and they were like, yup, looks good to me. And they posted it. What is going on with this company? Holy shit. They absolutely hate their customers. And in our official spaces, we will prioritise the ability of those who demonstrate that they can converse and disagree thoughtfully, constructively and inclusively over those who aim to disrupt, derail and diminish those contributions. So, here is the phrase of the fanboys that CA deploys through the Reddit. You ready for the phrase? Just because they disagreed. <laughs> CA are banning people just because they disagreed with them about the game. <laughs> Doesn't it sound pathetic to say it? But in this case, it's actually true. Like, if you're critical of the game, you don't know why you don't like the game, you're just saying you don't like it. You are banned from posting on here. You've broken the rules that have been clearly laid out. I disagree that this game is worth playing. Banned. <laughs> Holy shit. It's unbelievable. I have been speechless more times in the past two days than I have been in the entire preceding month. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Any arguing publicly about a warning or ban is not acceptable behaviour. Or this is this is more typical. Cause that just evolves into a clusterfuck. Man. And then he said down here, and this is revealing, it should come as no surprise that we're all having a moment right now. Having a moment that are uncertain think things are uncertain as we learn what the future of our work and games looks like. And this is really revealing. Man, it's like they don't even know where they're going to be a month from now or six months from now. They all just have no idea. And then it says down here, leaks fall under the Steam guidelines of unlawful activity, so they will not be welcome in this space. And that sounds like bullshit to me. From here on out, this can go hard or easy. So what's it going to be? Forget your handcuffs. It's so stupid. Leaks fall under the steam guidelines of unlawful activity. What the fuck are they talking about? Talking absolute shite. And then here, they're giving themselves permission to delete links to my videos. Like, they're, they're making two excuses here. So they're saying leaks are banned, even though the reason they give is bullshit. And then they're also giving a caveat for external coverage. Billular News, remember I mentioned him in my last video? External coverage is welcome. Constructive conversation. Advertising off topic. If the video being presented is exclusively targeted at criticising the company, game, individuals, etc. It will be removed for the same reasons as any post doing the same. It should offer critique of the game as a stage for constructive commentary. Well, my videos all have done that. 
I've even gone into all of the tech debt. Like, I've basically interviewed your developers for you that are deep in the code and amongst all the the guts, and they've said what's wrong and what needs to be done. That's like, that is as constructive as it gets. That was the whole point. What are these people talking about? They're talking so much shit. And of course, Bellular News covered my video. So both of our videos are the pinnacle of critique of the game as a stage for constructive commentary. What the fuck are they talking about? Do you think I want to spend the next decade pointing out how shit CA is and how shit Total War is? I started out my channel playing the games and doing nothing but playing the games and I had to stop playing the games because of Rome 2 and the fact that Rome 2 basically just got copy pasted for the past decade with diminishing returns. I would like to go back to playing games that are as good as Shogun 2 except contemporary. You know, it's, it's so backwards. Everything about this is just so perverted. And then someone posted this nine hours ago. You've just banned the developer of a well-known mod of your game. He has done hours of work to enhance your game with love and passion. And he is thanked with a ban and can no longer update his mod. If you want to have respectful feedback, maybe start respecting your audience. You may delete messages, but permanent ban on a modder, that's nonsense. And no one will support you on that. Imagine if at least a fifth of this mod would rate a negative review to, to the game. And then they said here... Hi there, we'll not discuss moderation actions taken by any user with anyone other than that user. <laughs> and then someone remarks on this here, 10 hours ago, Scorched Earth. Absolutely. That's the way I put it. Burn them all! End time starting, CA going rabid. And then someone poignantly observes, Honestly, we've offered constructive criticism for two years without any meaningful interaction from CA, but now when we start discussing overall company direction and recent leaks about that direction, suddenly we have your attention. Exactly. Exactly. And isn't isn't that reassuring? Dulan Dulani sixty seven. <laughs> isn't isn't that just interesting? My god. And then seven hours ago someone says your actions over the past few days have cost you so many customers and I'm one of them. You don't listen to us. We're not people to you guys, we're just wallets. I've played this series since Rome One, eighteen years. It makes me so sad that it ended this way. I'd rather you guys just made one giant magnum opus and end of the Total War series rather than to see it be so mismanaged like this. It's really sad. And I can't go through all this, there's 400 replies to this. And of course, in response to the thing about it's a privilege that's extended, not a right, people have been checking their privilege, naturally. Stop banning people, you cowards, the right to discuss is a privilege. It's not an entitlement you earn by playing the game, are you guys mental? That was three hours ago, four hours ago and it's still up. I'd like to thank CA. I think banning criticism is really good for the game. <laughs> we shouldn't be able to discuss anything that potentially affects the game. We will we'll love. The forum should be used exclusively to praise the game as well as appreciate its devs and the moderators. Nothing bad could possibly come from cracking down on people discussing these kinds of things. Keep up, CA. Banning people for wrong things is doing so much good for the company and in the long run will make the community love you and purchase more products from you. Just look at Pharaoh. What a brilliant game and a best sold millions. And by the way, I have a very trusted, reliable source that has confirmed to me that Pharaoh has sold no more than 45,000 copies. So that is an internal figure that I got from someone currently working for CA. No more than 45,000 copies sold. Dear CA, thank you for this privilege. To be able to tell you one simple truth, it's your fucking job to figure out solutions for the mess you made as a developer. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's their job, that's why they're paid. It's not up to the players to explain what the problems are and offer solutions. Players can realise there are problems and stop playing the game, or they can realise there are problems and say there are problems. And even just saying there are problems is going out of their way, and you should be able to use that. <laughs> and that's still up. Yeah, it's still up. Alright, that's good. They haven't banned that one yet. And someone sent me a screenshot of the Reddit. If a video is criticising the company, game, individuals, etc. is a nonsense take, I can exclusively criticise anything I want without personal attacks or calls for violence. This is gatekeeping of an incredible degree that I believe is solely aimed at damage control. Okay, if you are a company beyond reproach, then I just won't support you with my business. And this is the position so many people are going to take. They're just going to decide to move on. <laughs> You will love us or else, threatening and alienating people whose money you depend on is always a great move. Exactly, like, some of these people really do get it on here. And of course, that went down like shit. So, at 6.56pm, so a couple hours ago, when they should have left the office, if they even go there still, 
An apology and clarifications on moderation. Hey folks, by way of quick introductions, I'm Adam Freeman, Creative Assembly's Head of Community. <sighs> Today you've seen us post a reminder and clarifications on the moderation standards applied across our forum here on Steam. Since that post went live, you've helped to highlight parts of the message that were presented which on deeper reflection by ourselves don't properly speak to our intent. What? Or fairly treat you as active members of the Total War community? Damn right, but this just sit. This is such bollocks. <laughs> we can see clearly what your intent is. We even have XCA leaking it anonymously, and we have XCA describing it on camera. We know what your internal attitude is towards your customers, and it's absolutely atrocious. It's despicable, from what I've heard. Obviously, that doesn't apply company wide, but it is worrying. It's it's a sentiment that is distressing for a lot of XCA that are willing to speak out. Obviously not everyone at CA thinks this way, otherwise the company would be totally fucked, but it's enough of a problem that people are talking about it. And that's on top of all the evidence we have looking out, looking in from the outside, holy shit. <laughs> it would be enough just looking at it from the outside. But then we have all of these people from CA that confirm it to us by whatever means. As we emphasized in the original post, we're welcoming of all criticism made against our games. Bullshit and continue to be an active partner to you all in ensuring that your voices are heard across our teams at Creative Assembly. Bullshit. Where we let you down today was in how we spoke to the topic of constructive criticism, choosing language and phrasing which completely missed the mark, <laughs> and led to many of you to feel that your feedback, your thoughts, and your passion for the game to be an out-of-bounds subject. The original thread has been archived with a closing post made by myself, linking folks back to here where we feel it's best to continue the discussion. You can continue to view the original post at this link. Well, that's good. They're not, at least not just trying to fucking hide it. Holy shit. An acknowledgement of the feedback and response we've had from members of the community here and over on the Pharaoh forums where this post was mirrored. I've issued a clarification on a new thread and to avoid confusing the topic, have locked this thread to ensure that the conversation continues and responses to the latest information. You can read that post here and continue this conversation on the new thread. And there's no thread here. For introducing new frustrations to you with our post today, I apologise. Wow, holy shit. And we'll return to you in the coming weeks with updated guidance, including clear examples of good and bad actions that can prompt interventions from our moderation team. Alright, we're going to just ban everyone on the forum, right guys? We're going to issue fraudulent DMCAs to censor critics. We're going to blacklist critics for years. And then once everything starts going south when things get leaked, we're gonna just fucking take a flamethrower to the forums and absolutely nuke everything, just ban all of our fucking customers, paying customers, just ban all. And then after we do that, we're gonna make a statement explaining why we did it. And then once we've tried to double down on doing it and pave the way for continuing to do it indefinitely, we're gonna make an apology saying whoops, we misjudged. She's so full of shit, just fuck off. Go back to what I said here. If they ever hire an actual human as an a sociopath that can be honest even one bit so I don't vomit into my mouth a bit every time I read anything they say, someone let me know. I'm still waiting by the way, I'm still waiting. It's so disgusting, they're fucking just clowns, clown assembly, just fuck off man, just, just shut up and fuck off. Sick of reading this bullshit. Who the fuck buys this? Not their own people. Not their customers. People do, do not buy this. Look at this, 355 Jessers and nothing else. They're, they're just so full of shit and everyone can see it. Everyone can tell that they're just completely full of shit and they're just going to stop buying the games. Fuck them, holy shit, bullshit. For introducing your frustrations to you, I want to post today, I apologise, blah blah blah. Please note that we're still required, both by Steam and Creative Assembly, to moderate these forums to the advertised standards posted by Steam here. You will continue to see inappropriate content moderated in accordance with the Steam forum guidelines, including locking or removing posts, temporary suspensions of users were deemed necessary, and when ultimately requiring it, the banning of users identified to be repeatedly crossing the line. The action of banning a user is never taken lightly. Bullshit! You've just done it for whatever whimsical reason. I've got so many testimonies. How is it never taken lightly when it was taken extremely lightly for the entire past day when you all had a meltdown? Fucking idiots. And only done as a result of repeated violations, warnings issued by moderators, or for actions which necessitate the response as outlined here.
and they've linked the rules and guidelines for Steam, which is just a basic outline of all the standard stuff. Oh, they're so full of shit. Already we have 18 pages. Wow, that was fast, but this really boils down to a non-apology. Yeah, it's a, a non-apology. And there was this one here an hour ago that really stuck out to me. Like, this was the jump in the shark moment where I was just like, holy shit. And it's when C.A. Freeman, who is ex-EA, by the way, <laughs> he used to work for Electronic Arts, and he said, so someone said to him, I'm unsure if this is a course correction or a we realised we were too mask off in the last post. Hopefully it is the former. And then the guy says, honestly, it's both. It's both. We were too mask off. Holy shit, they're admitting that they have a mask on and they're just bullshitting people while deep down they're fucking psychopaths that hate their customers and want to just ban them all. That's what this, That's the only way to interpret this. A course correction. So it was a course correction and they were too mask off. <laughs> <laughs> they were two mask off and they course corrected immediately within like 10 hours. My god. They admit it. They're just admitting it. I'm... I'm disgusted and I'm just... <laughs> I'm shocked. Holy shit. I, am, I, am I just... Is this real life? I, I don't get this. That, hasn't this guy got like a decade of PR under his belt? Am I going crazy here? <laughs> Two mask off. Honestly, it's both. Isn't that an absolute howler? Does this get picked up on? Do people notice this? Corporate face saving. <laughs> honestly, it's both. Like, are we meant to just respect the boldness of this? Holy shit. Let's see if anyone else picks up on this and is absolutely disgusted. Honestly, it's both. Oh, the, people are not noticing. Am I going nuts? Am I going nuts like the people on the shithole sub where they're just gets on out? Holy shit, honestly, it's both. I assume the next DLC for Warhammer 3 will be $780, copy-paste mechanics with minimal work from your site. My god. Honestly, it's both. Yeah, people are responding to it a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know this. Oh, my God. So, telepaid customers who have, in many cases, spent a lot of fucking money. They don't have the right to discuss the game is not done with malicious intent. You have an employee outright show thinly veiled content for your customers because they don't shut their mouths and hand over the money. This very much just seems like a case of whoops, Jerry said the quiet part out loud. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, it's both quiet part out loud bold strategy cotton and all that holy fuck my god people in the gaming space have gotten far too comfortable with disrespecting their customer bases if I dare to show even a fraction of the disdain Evangelos showed I'd be fired on this spot <laughs> come on someone respond to this honestly it's both holy shit uh it's commendable that you release a statement so quickly. Man, they don't pick up on it. Holy shit. I can't, I can't believe, I need to see someone pick up on this. <laughs> no a real no-win scenario is finally snapping after hundreds of personally attacking and abusive comments that moderators take weeks to respond to when reported. Having a one-off outburst responded to within minutes and then any public expression of unfairness is used against you. CA supports harassment and defamation campaigns against critics. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's... I totally agree. I've, I've seen it over and over again. Nice to see other people know as well. I hope this wasn't a mask off moment. <laughs> it was. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. The first person. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Can you believe this? I'm so glad I'm not going crazy and that actually happened and, I, and other people have noticed. That is shocking. That is. I'm still just stunned. I first saw it before I, I hit record. Every time I read it again, it just, it just shocks me. Holy shit. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't a mask off moment. It was. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not making this out to be bigger than it is. That is massive. Holy shit. Isn't that- that is disgusting. That is disgusting and stunning. 
Fucking so imagine typing that, holy shit. He needs he needs to explain what the fuck that was. Holy shit man. Oh my god. And here is what that whole thing was. A non-apology apology, sometimes called a backhanded apology, non-apology or faux apology, is a statement in the form of an apology that does not express remorse for what was done or said, or assigns fault to those ostensibly receiving the apology. It's common in politics and public relations. I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> yeah. And of course they did say they're going to just continue to ban people. They're just going to be more light-handed with it. So the purpose of this post is to say, Whoa, guys, calm down. Whoa, shit. Whoops. And then they're going to try and tone it down so it doesn't kick off again. But they are going to just keep banning people. That's the policy now. And someone noticed what this all was. Someone else noticed it. The ban waves by CA are not an accident. In my opinion, they are part of a wider attempt to stifle criticism. It's a good moment to remind you all of something I said about a month ago to a hail of criticism. The new head of community management from CA is XEA. And what happened on the Steam forums is not a single mishap. It's part of a new trend, which includes the now famous DMCA. Thanks for acknowledging that. And the exclusion from their partner program of anybody who isn't a lickspittle. Or as I put it, a shell, but I like this, lickspittle. I'm glad to see this being acknowledged. 250 upvotes. This gives me hope. 330 upvotes. Oh man, I have to give credit where it's due. And the upvote rate is 84%. Oh my god, well done. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Oh, the tide's turning. So, the the infamous bullshit fraudulent DMCA against me that failed to take me out, I should mention. That's what that was designed to do. It was designed to shut me up or even get my channel endangered and ultimately taken down. That's what it was designed to do and it didn't work. And it's now being acknowledged here. Why is he still alive? I don't know. He shouldn't be alive. That vexes me. I'm terribly vexed. And the exclusion from the partner program of anybody who has a lick spittle. In other words, the great shilling operation is real. I've been saying it for years, it's a real thing. And it's being acknowledged with upvotes on the shithole sub of all places. I'm gonna have to find a new name for this place if this keeps up. I have been given credit where it's due over the years whenever they get things right. Every time I've been doing that, it's just a rarity. One thing can be an accident, two may be a very unhappy coincidence, but all three things at once are indicative of a strategy. Absolutely. And I've been calling out every avenue that I've seen this manifest, I've been calling it out. The shells were aggressive a few months ago. The DMCA against me was absolutely disgusting and really pissed me off. And of course that's oppression that I called out immediately. I called it out immediately as soon as I saw this starting to happen. I called out. I'm under. This is the thing. This is the thing a lot of these people in here that are absolute weasels don't realise. I've always been on their side. I want good games. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even know, know what good games are. They have no idea. They don't even realise they're getting nickel and dimed to buy reskins. And I tell them that. And they attack me when I'm the one telling them that they're getting ripped off. And advocating for them. When have I ever tried to put an affiliate link for, to pre-order? When have I ever done anything but allow people to donate to me if they appreciate what I do? I've never tried to put pre-order links for garbage. I've never encouraged people to pre-order. I've never tried to huck off DLC or shit games to people. I've never done product placements or fucking sponsors or any of that bollocks. None. I've never done any of that, period. I've never tried to get anything from these people. All I've done is provide a service that so many of them are just ungrateful for to this day. It's just, it's so backwards. And of course, it's because of this shithole subreddit and its campaigns that it conducts against critics, as was acknowledged on the Steam forums, harassment campaigns. And the DMCA itself is another form of harassment, just another, another avenue. After reading, reading their communique, one thing that's in there is far more important than anything else. They are complaining about boycotts, so it worked. Welcome to Reality CA, and a big thank you to everybody who voted with their wallets. Absolutely. This is the thing that matters the most. And it worked with Pharaoh. Pharaoh absolutely scared the shit of them. It clearly did. No one bought Pharaoh, 45,000, I'm told. And it really pissed them off. It's a big problem for them. If This is where it ultimately comes down to. This is the bottom line. If people don't buy the games, and don't buy DLC for the games, they are fucked. Simple as that.
they have to change what they're doing until they start buying the games again. That's the only control that you ultimately have. It really is. You can bitch on Steam forums, you can complain there, you can leave bad reviews, but as long as you keep buying the games in the DLC, they're happy. They would be fine with absolutely every one of their players raging on the forums and leaving negative reviews, as long as it meant they were selling DLC like mad. They'd be fine with it, because guess what, they're still making money. And to close out the video, I will continue to rely on Anonymous XCA and their quotes that they provide to me, and for which I'm extremely grateful. So here we go. So they were talking about today's statements to me, and they said, The product of a community team and company at large that thinks too much of themselves. We're right, you're wrong, and this is our playground, not yours. So piss off if you have anything critical to say about our products. And then they said, so here's the thing, if you can't be critical against a product being shit in the reviews because CA cry to Steam and invalidate them, and they're outright banning people and closing threads on the Steam forum, where do people make their opinion heard? As a customer, repression of free speech means I can't make an informed choice on my purchases from CA. And of course, that's the whole point. They're doubling down on not making a good game, presumably because they know they're incapable of doing that, and they're panicking and everything they're doing as a result of that. This is just yet more evidence that things at Creative Assembly are really, really bad. The house of cards is tumbling down. Or as someone said to me recently, we saw the thread on the jumper and we decided to pull. If you think what I do has value and you want to support it, then check my Patreon page out. I do my best to give out perks which includes monthly updates on what I've got planned and what I'm thinking about, my scheming. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington Paints, SJ Mage, Bador Nasser and Desync was here.